Knoxville right now because that press conference about that uh, manhunt is starting resident. right now. Um, we are not discussing where the resident lives at this time, nor are we discussing anything about the vehicle in which the person was found in. Did but he quickly, say anything to you? He said nothing. Did quickly he was found in someone else's vehicle? Correct. And a neighbor was so aware of the fog. Can you describe that for us again, that he saw the windows were fogged up? Yeah, it was a vehicle that was on his property, and he had indicated the concern over that vehicle because the windows and the windshield were all fogged up. Captain, some of our viewers are just joining us live right now. Can you recap just how this uh, neighbor was able to help your investigation? The guy who had the van, or the vehicle in which the guy was found in, he saw that it had fogged up windows. He expressed concern, and a short time later, he was taken into custody. Roughly how far was it from where you found the, the gun and the cell phone? How far from the cell, the gun was found not far from the original um, incident um, down the street here, and the cell phone was found some distance away from that. How okay. relieved are you? I'm sorry? How relieved are you tonight? Very. I mean, it's been a tremendous effort by everyone. I can't thank the, the residents of, of the township and then the people of the village for all the calls they, they gave us. Um, people out just very concerned so yeah it was a great effort by everyone and now uh, we're glad it's over hey, captain describe? did you uh, was he on the run the entire time or do you think he was in that car you know he's not been interviewed yet that'll be going on a little bit later uh this evening he's uh already at the oakland county jail and he'll be interviewed by detectives can you describe his condition had he been outside or was he wet cold had yeah, any provisions anything like that are you able to supply detail um he was underneath wrapped in his blanket and um, actually when I got on the scene he was already in the back of a patrol car and I just said we'll take him to Belton County Jail. But had he looked like he had spent the, the I didn't evening see outdoors for example? I didn't see him. But no reported injuries to himself? No, there were no injuries. No. Any updates on the victims at all? Um, they have been interviewed by detectives, they are talking, they're responsive and um, kind of in a recovery mode. Both of them are talking now? Yes. We saw so many law enforcement agencies out working together. Can you talk a little bit about the teamwork that made this possible? Well, you know, I, I, being in this profession for a long time, we're seeing more and more of that all the time. It's just collaborative efforts by law enforcement. I've been on the phone with the FBI. The Border Patrol was out here. Our violent crime task force with the FBI had offered assistance. We had uh, canine units from West Bloomfield, Rochester City. The state police uh, were getting ready. We told them that once these these dogs get a little tired, they're, they're going to bring some more of their dogs over to relieve them. So just a tremendous effort. What will happen to all the children that are involved with this? Well, you know, um, we've already done some 3,200 forms, so that's all going. Um, what does that mean? I'm sorry. They're petitions, um, juvenile petitions because of their age. Um, that'll be decided by the courts. Um, you know, they'll decide what family members or who gets the children, but that's a ways down the road right now. You're from right Ortonville. Uh, what does this mean to the city now that he's captured? Well, obviously everyone's concerned. Like I said, I was getting a lot of texts from people I know in the city and, or from the township and the, and the village and stuff. I know everyone is uh, very much relieved, so maybe we can get back to normal. Okay. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Thank, Thank you, you, Captain. Great job, Gary. Captain Gary Miller. Uh, so you just heard from Captain Gary Miller here at the Oakland County substation talking about how they have arrested Michael Quigley, who they've been searching for since last night, he's suspected in the shooting of his estranged wife and another man. He is in custody and the community can know, can rest assured that he is no longer a danger to them. Reporting live in Ortonville, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. And again, Kim, just to recap, it looks like this whole thing ended with a whimper. The guy simply asleep in his car on somebody's land, apparently. Right, someone noticed that the windows were fogged on their car that was outside and they thought, why are my windows fogged up? They shouldn't be. Happened to be because this man was hiding in their car and as he breathed, he fogged up those windows and it gave him away. Back to you. All right, Thank goodness he's off the streets now.